All right, so these are modal verbs. Let's have a chat about modal verbs. And they are about obligation, necessity, and prohibition. Can you guys help me with uh, understanding and translation of the words obligation, necessity, and prohibition? Anybody can try? Obligation? Anybody knows? Uh, obligation is something mm -hmm. that we owe someone. Takže někomu něco uh, musíme vrátit. Uh, yeah, 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 that's it. That's could it. be something good that we have to do or some money we have to pay back. Exactly. So obligation, something uh, we must do, in other words, right? Povinnost. Necessity. Nutnost. Something, uh, again, I have to do. This is different. Something I have to do. And then prohibition. Something I must not do. All right. This is what we need modal verbs for. There are many modal verbs in English. Uh, modální slovesa. They will help you with uh, giving some grammar idea. For example, I can do something. I should do something. We all know these words. Let's have a look at the words uh, for today. How to express obligation, necessity, prohibition. How to express them in negative. And then we will have some practice. So let's have a look. First, I have modal verbs with must. You tell me the difference between if I say I must work and I have to work. Can you give me the difference? Uh, do you know any idea like how to explain the difference here? I must work. I have to work. Uh, if you must work, you can't like step back from the commitment. It's full commitment. And if you say you have to work, it's, I don't know, like kind of more free term yeah you you're right you're absolutely right yeah uh, you're you're almost there so must is for strong obligation and it comes from authority okay that's important what is authority then it's a relationship right for example, in our lesson, actually, I am the authority in our lesson, right? Uh, you are, listen to me. I'm the teacher here. Uh, so I can give you some rules and I tell you, you must do something, right? And this is, this is the authority. Because what happens if the authority gives you some rule and you don't follow it? What will happen, guys? For example, the government, right, will say, we have the law. Here's the law. You must not go out uh, after 9 p.m. What will happen if you go out after 9 p.m.? You will probably get um, a, a ticket, uh, like a, a fine. A fine, or, yeah. Uh -huh. Or uh, get arrested. In the worst case scenario, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So the idea is there are rules given by somebody or something, and you must follow them because if you don't, then there will be a punishment. And the punishment can be a fine, maybe they will arrest you, and maybe even something worse. All right? But the idea is the rules are outside you, and uh, you must follow them. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. That's the idea. Okay? So we have some example here. Formal rules or laws. Applications for the job must be received by 18th of May. You must write your answers in capital letters. Takže do 18. května musí být všechny, uh, všechny přihlášky na zaměstnání uh, už poslány. If you send it after 18th of May, they will not read your mail. So this is why, this is the rule, and you must follow it, because if you don't, they will not read your mail. Okay? So it's a, it's a kind of a formal rule, formální pravidlo, napsané někde na papíře nějakou autoritou. You must write your answers in capital letters. This will be on some kind of like a piece of paper. And they will write, okay, fill it in, but only with capital letters. Okay? Because if you don't, then there might be some kind of, uh, again, punishment for this. Uh, there is a second uh, situation. Strong suggestion, advice, or recommendation. Mark is a really nice person. You must meet him. So it's a strong advice, basically. Strong piece of advice or recommendation or suggestion. Uh, I am giving you my opinion and I'm telling you, you must do it. You must try something. And again, I am not the authority this time. I am not the authority. You will not be punished. But I am here giving you a strong suggestion, telling you it's a good idea and do it, right? 
Are there any problems or questions about this? Everything okay? The problem will come now because we have have to, right? And have to is uh, translated in Czech the same way. So I have to and I must is the same. Musím něco dělat, okay? But uh, in English, they make a big difference uh, in uh, the feeling of these two words. Uh, in Czech, we don't. So let's have a look at this. I, I write uh, obligation voluntarily followed. Voluntarily. Can we translate the word? Maybe. Uh, dobrovolně. Uh, dobrovolně. OK, OK. Good, everyone. <coughs> so I have some obligation, povinnost, and I follow it voluntarily. Dobrovolně ji teda následují tu povinnost, nebo plním tu povinnost uh, dobrovolně. So that means I have the rule, but I follow it because I want to. Or maybe I don't want to, I don't like it, but I follow it anyway. So we have some example here. The speaker wants to show that he or she isn't responsible for imposing the obligation and does not agree with it. That's another possibility. I have to work from nine to six every day. Uh, Jane has to travel a lot for her work. So uh, I have some example here for you, or more like a question. What if I say I must work from nine to six every day? Because grammatically speaking, it is okay. But uh, there's a big difference uh, in feeling. Can anybody tell me? That you have to, uh, if, because if you don't, then you'll starve to death or something that you have to work to have the money to live. Yeah, yeah, okay, the one possibility. Uh, so if I have, if I must work, somebody is around me, maybe some policeman or some someone simply, and uh, they will enforce it. Okay, that's my problem. So if I say I must work, I don't do it voluntarily. It is not my choice. Okay, but if I say I have to work, I can choose a different job. Maybe I hate this rule. So I will just quit the job and I will try some different job or I will start my own business. Okay. So the idea is that it is voluntary. Maybe I hate the rules, but I follow the rules anyway. And I do it because I want to. Maybe I don't have, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, let's say, brave enough to try a different job, but that this is my problem. Okay. This, is, this does not come from somebody. So this is important here. I am not responsible for these rules and or I don't agree with it. So again, Jane has to travel a lot for her work. If I say must, he has no other choice, but she has a choice. She can uh, try a different job, for example. All right. So then there's another possibility. The speaker is reminding about a rule or law. So you have to turn left. So we have the example here. It is the rule imposed by authority, right? Authority will give you this mark here. And if somebody reminds you of this rule, if somebody tells you, hey, this is the law, you have to do it, okay? Because again, uh, you kind of have a choice if you want to follow it or not. In this context, okay, you have to turn left. Maybe I can turn right, right? So, but I mustn't, uh, or let's say I must, um, I must, or let's put it this way. I don't have to follow the rule exactly here. Maybe I can go back, right? So that's the idea. I, I'm not uh, given a, an order that I must turn left. If I want to go forward, I must turn left, but I can just go back, right? That's the idea. Are there any questions? We both translate it as musim, right? That's the problem here. So must and have to, musim. But there is a very strong difference, or let's say there's a strong difference uh, in English, unfortunately. In Czech, we don't make this difference. Are there any questions? All good? Wonderful. Let's try another here. Uh, this is not in the book, so I'm, I don't know if you know this one. There is also another possibility. You could say, uh, I have got to, but, and it's the same as have to, it's the same, but it is more informal. So, for example, I've got to, or you've got to work from seven to three every day. I've got to work tomorrow, although I wish to stay at home. So this is more informal. Can we explain the the word informal? Anyone? Informal. Um, uh, that it's um, not re required by law, like the opposite. It's not formal. 
no, no, no. It's more like um, I can say I have to, right? You mm -hmm. have to work from seven to three, and I have you've got to work, uh, and they are both correct. Grammatically, they are the same. But the, the there's a difference that I've got to is uh, uh, more informal. That we use it in uh, like speech with friends and not. Yes. not uh, okay. Yes. yes, that's it. So I've got to is the same idea as have to, but uh, it's just more informal. That means I use it with my friends. I use it on the street or you will hear it in movies. All right. Wonderful. So and then over here, I have need to needs or necessities rather than strict obligations. Can we translate this over here? Maybe Slavic, can you try? Needs or necessities rather than strict obligations. So, že potřeby ano. a nezbyt... nějaký jakoby, uh, nezbytnosti. Nezbytnosti. Yeah, yeah. Víc než jakoby, uh, ty přísný, ty uh, nutnosti nebo... No, povinnosti. Povinnosti. Přesně tak, výborně. Takže mám něco, co musím nebo chci udělat. Okay? It's the need. Potřebuji to udělat. Because without it, I cannot do it. And then here, I have some examples. You, if you want to work abroad, you need to speak foreign languages. So I can go abroad and I can just speak Czech. Right? I will not have a good time, but uh, I can do it. Nobody is telling me that I can't. So the idea here is that it's a good idea to uh, learn languages before going abroad or working abroad, okay? And what, what, how would it be different if I say you have to speak foreign languages? How would this be different? Maybe Peter, can you explain? If I say, if you want to work abroad, you have to speak foreign languages. Um, Is it uh, very different from this? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very similar. The only pr the only difference that I could think of for this is that um, maybe you want the job where you uh, have to speak the language, because maybe you can work uh, you know in some place where you don't have to use it, where you don't have to speak the foreign language. So then you can just say, uh, you know, if you want to work abroad, you have to speak it because the job needs it. Okay, but what if I say must? What if I say must? Anybody can tell me the difference? If I say you must speak four languages. Anybody mm -hmm. can try? Uh -huh. Is it like a requirement? Excellent. That's it. So that means there will be, uh, I want to get visa, working visa, and they will tell me, hey, you don't speak the foreign language. Bye bye. See you. Right? If you want to work there, you must speak it. So this is the rule. This would be the written rule for getting the visa. Okay, and the same would happen here. If we are going to work together, I need to know about your background and experience. So I need to means it's a good idea, right? There's no rule, there's no rule. If I say, if, I, if we are going to work together, I have to know about your background and experience. Can you tell me how the, the, how the meaning is different here? Anybody? Maybe Marek, can you try? How would you explain it here? If I say, we understand I need to, right? Potřebuji znát více o tobě a o tvojí minulosti. Background pozadí sice, ale říkáme minulost v Čechně. So I need to know more about your background and experience. Potřebuji znát více. Ale, but if I say I have to. Um, jakože chtěl bych nebo něco takového prostě. Yes, you, you, you're correct. So this is what I want, right? And uh, I feel that it is a very important thing for me to do, to know more about you before we work together. Exactly. And what if I say, I must know about uh, your background and experience. Max, could you explain? If we are going to work together, I must know. Uh, say again the question. My question is, we have, the, we have the sentence here. If we are going to work together, I need to know, blah, blah, blah. What if I change? the word need to into must. How does it change the meaning? Well, must is like something re like a requirement or it it is not possible to keep, keep going on. Yeah, yeah, so. exactly. So it would be the, the rule 
of the company, for example. They would say, if the people work together, they must know uh, their background, right? They must mm -hmm. know the background of their colleague and so on. It, it's very unusual, all right, this kind of sentence, because you will not find it as a rule. But I'm just giving you the idea behind this. This is the, what, how it would change the meaning. Now, the same can happen in uh, negative. So we have mustn't. Mustn't would be translated as nesmim. So it expresses prohibition. As Kirill said before correctly, prohibition is akas. So for example, we have negative rules and laws. Not, for example, drivers must not exceed the limit speed. Uh, can you translate this word, uh, this sentence for us on day? Can you try? Drivers must not exceed the limit speed. Can you, Andre, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you translate the sentence in red over here? Drivers must not exceed the limit speed. Řidiči nesmí překročit povolenou rychlost. Výborně, okay, good job. Nesmí, okay, so this is the negative rule. And then, strong advice, you mustn't blame yourself, it's not your fault. It is again uh, the advice, just like before, we had, uh, you must meet Mark, he's a nice guy, right? Mark is a really nice person, you must meet him. Uh, and I can have the same advice, but I can make it negative. So I can say, you mustn't blame yourself, it's not your fault. Uh, can we translate this one? Uh, for example, Matej, can you try? Can you try and translate this one? Yeah. Uh, nesmíš uh, se nadávat za to, nebo uh, na něco to znamená, jako, že nesmíš se dávat nic vinu a os no, brát to osobně. Ano, ano. Uh, it's not your fault? Uh, uh, není to tvoje vina. Výborně. OK, good job. So I'm, again, I'm giving you strong advice over here and I'm telling you to not do it. I'm not the authority again, but uh, this is my strong feeling, my strong opinion, OK? Good, then I have this. And as I told you before, uh, must and have to is translated as musim, right? But there's a big difference. It is much easier in negative because in negative, I have mustn't. This is the prohibition, mamzakas. But for don't have to, nemusim. That means lack of obligation or necessity. Nemam povinnost ani nutnost. So I, I can do it, but I don't have to do it. Let me show you some example. You don't have to tell him, but you can if you want to. Okay? So now I have a question for you. There are two sentences. Uh, let's try maybe Jakub. Jakub W. Uh, can you tell us um, how would the feeling here change if I said, you mustn't tell him? You must not tell him. How is the different from you don't have to tell him? If it's uh, don't have to, you can. But if it's mustn't, you can't tell, tell him. Yeah, exactly. So somebody would tell me, okay, if you tell him, you will be punished, right? You must not tell him. But if I say you don't have to, that means you can, but it is not uh, any rule or any obligation. But we can, right? Uh, I don't have to be at the meeting, but I think I'll go anyway. You don't have to wear a uniform, but you can if you like, all right? Any questions so far? So here it's very clear. Mustn't and don't have to. Nesmím, nemusím. Here it's easier, I think. It's much harder for the positive sentence. And now the last part is needn't. I'm sure that you used it in uh, the written task that we had. Uh, and you have needn't plus the infinitive, no to. Don't forget there's no to. And uh, we have some example sentences. You needn't do something. You don't need to do it but you can if you like. So it is the same. That's why I write lack of obligation or necessity. It is the same for don't have to. So don't have to and needn't are the same. Okay? They are the same basically. So you can say, you can come with me if you like, but you needn't come if you don't want to. It is not necessary for you to come. We've got plenty of time. I'm supposed to just so we needn't hurry. It is not necessary to hurry. Now, I have a question for you. Uh, what do you think we use more? Needn't or don't need to? For example, Jan, can you tell us? Jan M. What do yeah, you think? Uh, mm -hmm. 
What do you think we people should want? Yeah. Probably needn't, I think. Mm -hmm. In British English, yes. <laughs> That's true. So in British English, we would say needn't. It's more common. Uh, but what if I want to say it in uh, the past? And I would say, like, it happened yesterday. Can I say, like, need it not? Or what would I say? I don't need it. No, 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 no. I, here, you would have to use here. I don't need, but in the past, so I didn't. Oh, I didn't need, yeah. Yeah. So actually, let me tell you that uh, in real life, okay, this needn't is in the book. But in real life, you will hear 99%. You will hear don't need to, 99%. And it's the same meaning. Don't get me wrong. Needn't is not um, incorrect. It's okay. It's grammatically correct. But it's becoming very old fashioned. Uh, you know, mostly old people will, would use that. It's, uh, it's not common uh, to use it like this. So you would say uh, don't need to more often and you will hear it more often. So uh, especially you will need it if you want to say it in the future or in the past. So you would say I didn't need to. Nebylo to třeba dělat, nebo nemusel jsem. I didn't need to. I didn't have to. Okay. And I will need to. Budu, budu muset něco. I will need to do it. I will have to do it. So now I have a question here. What do I do with the word must? If I want to use it in, in the past or in the future, I, I cannot say I will must or I must it. I cannot say that. So how can I work with this? Uh, any idea, anyone? Jak můžu slovíčko must hodit do minulého času nebo do budoucího času? That's my question. Because I cannot say I will must, right? You cannot do that. Must not. That's still present. To je, to jsme stále v přítomném čase. Ale budoucí čas a minulý čas. Ha, has musen. A, 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 no, no, no. Unfortunately. It's easier, guys, than you think. It's easier than you think. We have to go here. You will come back to have to, and you will work with it. So in the past, kdybych chtěl říct, musel jsem něco, měl jsem povinnost, dá se to obsat jinými slovy, buď to. I can say, I was obliged, or I, ha I, will, uh, I had to follow the rules. But I still use this one, had to. Don't had to. Exactly. So in the past, you would use had to. So must will become had to in the past or in the future, will have to. So must do simply doesn't exist in the past or in the future. Okay? Must can only be used in present tense. You know, přítom nem čase používáme must. Jinak to nejde. Okay? Ještě existuje jiný případ, ale to není pro povinnost. Okay? Existuje to v minulém čase jenom v jednom konkrétním případě, ale to nebudeme probíhat tady. Uh, okay, so basically, you would say, I must do something that's happening now, right? It's uh, in the present. And yesterday I had to do it. And tomorrow I will have to do it. So then we just use have to. Okay? So, good job. And the last one. It's over here. That's in the past. That's what I just wanted to ask you. So I did not need to can also happen with need. So we had it here. I don't need to do it. Není to nutné. But I can say it in the past and I would say I did not need to do it. Nebylo to nutné a tak jsme to neudělali. Lack of obligation. For example, I didn't need to get up early, so I stayed in bed. The train was delayed, so we didn't need to hurry. So we had another cup of cappuccino. Okay? Guys, are there any questions? Everything okay? I hope that I did not confuse you even more after this. I hope that it's actually clearer now because uh, I did not want to just uh, give you the written task and like uh, just tell you, okay, learn this. I wanted to show you this because it's important now. So let's try it in practice in real life, okay? Uh, tomorrow we are going to practice all of it in speaking or the next lesson we'll practice it all in speaking. But uh, now let's try some written exercises. So I have. I blah 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 wear glasses for reading. So, for example, Jan, can you try the first one? Uh, okay. Um, I can wear glasses for reading. I, I, um, I have to. 
I have two is better, much better, yes. Yeah, so gra grammatically speaking, all of them are correct, but they all change the meaning, okay? So by grammar, I can actually use A, B, C, and D, but they all change meaning. This is logical here to use have to. Um, maybe Peter, can you explain how the meaning would change if I use must? I must wear glasses for reading, and if I have to wear glasses for reading. Can you tell us the difference? What's the difference? Have to and must. Because I can use both, but it changes meaning. Uh, when I say must, it, it, uh, it is like I am, I have bad, uh, mm -hmm. I have problems with eyes. Uh, you mean with must, yeah? Mm -mm, no, no. It's a little bit different. It's okay, no problem. Uh, another Peter, can you try? How would you explain it here? Must is that I need to wear them or else I couldn't read and uh, have no, no, to. No. Uh, again, no, no, no. That, that's why I have have to for this. This is the idea of have to, what you are describing. D don't forget, guys, if you remember, I said that must, must have some a rule that is written by authority. Musí tam být nějaká autorita, když řeknu must. So somebody will tell me, you must wear glasses. If you don't, I will punish you. Okay? Can you feel that? You will not hear it. You will never hear this kind of sentence. It's not very common, right? Why would anybody tell me to wear glasses? It's not very common, right? But uh, grammatically speaking, it is correct. Okay? So if I say I must wear glasses, Somebody is telling me to wear glasses, and if I don't, uh, for, for reading, right? And if I don't, I will have a problem. If I say I have to, it means that uh, I, my eyes are not okay, and I want to read. So if I want to read, I will have to wear glasses. Because nobody is telling me to do that, but I want to do it, because uh, it's, it's the only way to read, okay? I hope that it's easier now again to uh, see the, the difference. If I say I can, uh, it's simply a possibility, so I can like I can put them on, but uh, I'm not sure whether I would be able to read anything with them. And mustn't, mustn't. Uh, Marek, can you explain if I say you mustn't wear glasses? Um, uh, you mustn't wear glasses. Um, like I heard sometimes uh, that if you don't need, need them. Uh, it can like damage your eyes or something like this. So yeah. you, you mustn't wear glasses when you need, uh, don't need to. Yes, but again, mustn't would be uh, like the formal rule. It would have to be written somewhere, yeah? So then it's much better to use, you shouldn't wear glasses if you don't need them. That's much better because uh, mustn't must be the rule. Muselo by to be napsané pravidlo někde. Okay, I understand what you mean, Marek, but then we would need to use uh, should. Neměli byste nosit, to by bylo lepší, že jo? To je jako nesmíte nosit, což v češtině bychom mohli říct, že jo? Ale in English, if I say you mustn't, it has a very different feeling. It has a feeling that you are not allowed to do it. You are not allowed. Nemáte povolení to dělat, okay? Which is very different, right? Let's try number two. Uh, Max, uh, yeah, Kirill, any any problem? No, no, I I just wanted to do the second, but if. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Okay, so Joe can stay here. He needn't come with us. He doesn't have to come with us, uh, like because uh, we have the can. Joe can stay, but he doesn't have to. So in the second, we also he doesn't have to. He needn't come with us. He needn't, yeah, or doesn't have to, correct? And uh, yeah, that's it. Or doesn't need to. You can also say doesn't need to, doesn't have to, or needn't. Excellent. Anybody for number three? For example, Jakub, can you try? Number three? Uh, yeah. Why did he get up so late? He? Why did he get up so late? He didn't need to get up early. Excellent. Can you use any other way? Is there any any other way to use? No, not here. It's not in ABC. It's something else. He didn't have to. Excellent. He get didn't up have early. To get up early. Good job. 
let's try number four, Slavic. So we. Now take your time, yeah. Read it, yeah. Take your. <laughs> Sorry. We, your we time. needn't wash these tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You use different way. That would be the same meaning. We are permitted. Uh, no, but try something that's not here. To be like, máme povolení. Máme povoleno umyt. We have we have to wash these tomatoes. But they have already been washed. Takže řeknu jako nemusíme. Nemusíme, ale můžeme, right? Můžeme, ale nemusíme. We so don't. We have to. But in the negative, use it in negative. Had to. Had to. Minulý čas. Negativ je zápor. Zápor. So we have needn't. To je zápor not, že? Tady. Takže teď mám have to, ale dám to do záporu. Haven't? No, musíme tam dát sloveso do. You, we don't. Have to. Wash, ano. Wash these tomatoes. Exactly. And it's the same meaning, okay? Needn't or don't have to. Or we can also use don't need to. It, it is all the same, okay? Good. Let's try number five. Uh, Jan, Jan, V, can you try? I promised. I promised I would be on time. I mustn't be late. Excellent. Okay. Why? It's your promise, right? I mustn't be late. Nesmím, nesmím přijít pozdě, right? I promised I would be on time. Excellent. If I say I don't have to be late, it would be a very different idea, right? To znamená jako nemusím, být, nemusím přijít pozdě, ale můžu, right? If I say I don't have to be late. It doesn't make much sense, right? This is the rule that you gave yourself. Uh, and you must follow it. Okay, good. So let's try number six. Uh, Matej, can you try? Yeah, it's necessary to be quiet. We don't, you know, we don't have to make any noises. Or we mm. mustn't, mustn't. It's, it's not there, yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> mustn't. mustn't. Okay. Yeah. And there's no other way, because this is the rule, it's right? The rule. Yeah. In the library, maybe. In the library. Okay, excellent. Max, can you try number seven? Take your time. Read it and try it. Max? Yes. Yeah. Uh, everything will be okay. You, you needn't worry. Excellent. Is there any different way? Are there any different ways that you are- You don't any... have to worry. You don't have to, or you don't need to worry. You don't need all, to. all of them, all of them are correct. And the last one, Andre, can you try? I must work every day from mm -hmm. 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. All right. I have, have to. Now, grammatically speaking, by grammar, it is correct. You can say I must work, but there is a strong difference in English. Oboi znamená musím. Okay. In Czech, we say musím, musím. It doesn't matter. Uh, but in English, it makes a big difference. If I say I must work or have to work. Uh, Andre, do you know the difference? Can you, can you have to is something like law and must is my own opinion. The other way, other way around. So have ah, to. Yeah. So have to is my, my own opinion and must is a law or well, it doesn't matter if it's your opinion. It's the rule. The rule is oh, yeah. 8, 8, 8.30 to 5.30, you must be at work. That's the rule. But your choice is to be there. Maybe you don't like the rule, but you follow it. And you follow it voluntarily. It's right here. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 here. Obligation voluntarily followed, right? Maybe yeah. I, I hate it. I hate to be there for this time. But I have to follow it, okay? Mm -hmm. But yeah. I can choose a different job. I can quit my job and choose a different one. But if I say I must work there, there is a strong difference in English. If I say I, I must, then uh, how would this be different here? Anybody else? Uh, thank you, Andre. Good job. Anybody else can tell me? Maybe Jakub, can you try? If I say I must work every day from 8.30 to 5.30, can you think of a situation when you would say that? Uh, it is some uh, rule from my... Uh... Yeah, you, you're almost there. It's some authority, right? It must be 
It must be enforced. Musí to být vynucené. That means what? I am a slave, right? Jsem otrok. I must work every day from 8.30 to 5.30. That means I have no choice. There's no other way I can, I can live. So if you say I must work, that means you don't have a choice in it. And somebody is uh, imposing this on you. All right? This rule is imposed on you. So they would say, okay, you must work. If you don't, we will shoot you, for example, or you will be arrested or something. All right? So then it would be given like a requirement, like a rule to follow. I hope now, guys, that you see and feel the difference uh, because must and have to, I think, will be the biggest problem in this. So simply remember, to summarize, must comes from outside. We both have obligations, right? Oboje povinnost, have to, e must. But with one, with must, it comes from outside. Uh, somebody or something will tell me the rule and I must follow it because if I don't, I will get punishment. And have to is also an obligation, but I have a choice. If I don't follow it, I can I will be kicked out of work, but I can get a I can get a different job. Okay? But with must, I don't have a choice. Okay? I hope that's easier now to uh, get it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we are going to practice it the following lesson in speaking. Okay? I hope that uh, this is easy now to understand, and uh, we will get a lot of practice the following lesson in speaking. So, uh, thank you guys. Um, you can watch this video on YouTube. There's a native speaker who also explains it in, in a slightly different way. Maybe it can help you. You can check it out. And if you have any questions, now is the time to ask me. Are there any questions about this grammar? All good? So, uh, I will, I, I hope so. Yeah, I try to make it as clear as possible, but I'm still sure there's a lot to improve. Uh, but uh, you can watch this video. I'm going to post it on Google Classroom and also YouTube. So you can watch it again if something is unclear. And you can ask me questions later. You just ask me through email. There's no problem. Yeah? Or at the following lesson. So thank you so much, guys, for coming. That's all for today. And the following lesson, we will just practice speaking and uh, use this. Uh, Carol, any problem? Yeah, I have some non-English related questions. Uh, just a second. <laughs> just a second.